Hey guys, Mr. B here again, doing some paint today. I probably said this in other math videos, but uh, don't want people to think I'm a dirtbag. All right, so uh, bring you a video on multiplying powers. Yeah, whoop whoop. Uh, well, multiplying powers is pretty boring. So uh, multiplying. Oh, so first of all, we need to know what a power is. So a power is a number with an exponent. So let me give you an example. Two to the five. Exciting times. Now. If I multiply that by another 2 to the 5, then we can use our law for multiplying powers with the same base. So that's the key. This is base 2. This is base 2. So what I can do in those situations is I can add my powers. 2 to the 5 plus 5 is equal to 2 to the 10. Very simply. Let me show you why that works. So if I, I'll lower the numbers a little bit. So let's call it, I'll do 3 to the 2 times 3 to the 3. So if I wrote this out in sort of long form, so 3 to the 2 is 3 times 3, 3 times 3, and 3 to the 3 is 3 times 3 times 3. So why this law works is that now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 threes. So I can write that as 3 to the 5. So really all I'm doing when I'm adding the exponents is just skipping this step right here, which makes sense. If you have something like this, or if you have something huge, you wouldn't want to have to write out all those numbers. So we can use the rule that when you're multiplying powers with the same base, you add the exponents. Let me show you how it works again. So let's use, instead of a number this time, let's use x to the 10 times x to the negative 7. So the negative doesn't change anything. All we do is add. So 10 plus negative 7 is 3. There you go. That is it. So that is the rule for multiplying powers with the same base. Note, it will not work with different bases. This rule does not work with different bases. You have to have the same base. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in class.